Hello. Hello. Uh, today, I thought would be again interesting talking about uh, using the right uh, pedals amp guitar combination for getting really good dynamics out of only one guitar and the volume knob. So I will show you my new, it's mine now, my new custom HiFat 50. It's from the year 2000, so it's not an, a vintage one, but it's identi it, it, it's, it's really identic, identical. Uh, love it. And uh, what do we use? Tube zone, as always, because that's the real natural sounding overdrive. Then uh, together with some yeah, pre-boost clone and the Cornish P2 fuzz, which is very cool. So I will play the song and afterwards we talk about it. You can play along to this song too in the member section for only one ninety nine. Yeah, yeah, good. <laughs> Tom says it, okay. piece and now I will show you everything uh, so as I said the highlight is clean 
clean sound. As I uh, try a little bit Keon in front, only as a clean boost. sound and uh, in the intro piece I used the fast because it's a really cool one the P2 <laughs> Impressive. And now let's do the same with the humbucker. Just a moment. Okay. Les Paul Custom 1974. Great one. the time use the neck pickup it's very low volume for a, a, a nice clean then the middle position with Let's say a little bit, uh, not really cranked, but uh, seven on the treble pickup for uh, in between sound. Mm -hmm. 
Still a uh, little bit crunchy, but in this uh, amount of gain, it depends on how hard I pick. Uh, that's another. That's uh, another chapter. Picks. <laughs> I most of the time use this blue hairdim with the uh, ripped side because that's the way I get out the most dynamic dynamic from picking. If I pick very light, when I pick harder, it gets this nice snap to it. Very fat mid-range sound. I take another pick. Uh, it's a funny material. Or the... I like it also, the Fender Extra Heavy. Very mighty sound. To a, what do I have here? Fender Medium. It's also cool, snappy in its own way. Or, sometimes uh, really cool, a very sick don't even know what this is, what material it is. It's very sick, but very powerful. Again, my they get old. After a while, they get old. But I have enough. I have, I think, ten pounds of this <laughs> pigs. <laughs> the clone to get it even fatter.
Scottish fuzz, really cool. I think the Gilmore uh, also used it uh, in one uh, area because they are cool. Uh, I have the P2, P1 too. I think the P1 is a little bit more versatile because uh, the P2 is really, uh, I think the, the treble is cranked and it's still, it's always very mid range fat. Uh, thick sounding, uh, that's a little bit easier with the P1, but it works also with any other fuzz. You don't need to buy these very pricey Cornish pedals. Okay, so you see, with a good amp and a good guitar and a good pedal, <laughs> uh, because uh, I still wonder why uh, this in my audio tube zone is not more famous. It's the it's the best sounding pedal. Uh, uh, if you use it the way I use it, getting out a clean sound without pressing a button, only turning down the volume. No other pedal matches this one. Yeah, the crunch. Yeah, the crunch is the the reason I built the crunch is to make some. Uh, let's say similar or really a copy of the tube song because he doesn't build it any longer. Yeah, uh, next, I think, week, I get another, let's say, five or ten uh, pieces. Then you can get it in the web shop. Okay, let's say, Enough for today, mm. and uh, thanks for subscribing as always. See you soon. Bye bye. Bye bye.